on your 7 News station. This is KSWO-TV, Channel 7 in Lawton and Wichita Falls. You can count on us. Those late night storms caused power outages and street closures overnight in Lawton. We'll tell you what area to avoid as you head out on the road this morning. Plus, after the string of home invasions in Wichita Falls, police are, people are still worried about the safety of their homes. But a new invention may protect you. We'll tell you about the ultimate luck. And the severe storms have moved out, but the chance of rain is not over for some of you. I'll tell you where and when we're expecting it today in your Skywarn 7 weather. It's Wednesday, October 3rd, 2007. Welcome to Good Morning Texoma on 7 News. Live at 6 a.m., this is Good Morning Texoma, your number one morning news source. Good morning, Texoma. Welcome to 7 News on this busy Wednesday morning. Here's what we're working on. We have more on overnight power outages and street closures in Lawton this morning. Plus, Lawton's water still has that funny taste. Uh, how much longer will that last? We have details. Also coming up, a new invention out of Texas could be a major breakthrough at home security. It's called the ultimate luck. And we're going to show you how it could have helped folks in Wichita Falls who were victimized by home invasions. And also, we're talking about the latest on gas prices across Texoma. Find out who's buying the cheapest gas in the area. We'll get to all that in just a moment, but right now let's find out what's in store for our weather this morning after a stormy night. Good morning, Kim. Well, good morning. This morning is a lot more quiet than it was last night. Things are starting to dry out. However, as that cold front that brought the stormy weather stalls in North Texas, we could see a very slight chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. We'll talk about that in just a while, but let's take a look at our temperatures. It has dropped down to 67 degrees in Lawton, 66 in Altus, but still in the 70s in Duncan, Wichita Falls, and in Vernon, where that cool air hasn't quite reached your area just yet, and it's 72 degrees in Graham, where that cold front hasn't even moved through yet. Today's forecast calls for temperatures around 71 degrees at 9 o'clock, scattered clouds throughout the day, 81 degrees by noon, and then this afternoon, it will be another hot day, temperatures around 88 degrees, so it's going to be a little warm on the warm side with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms in North Texas, and we'll talk more about that coming up. Okay, right. Kim. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Well, things are slowly getting back to normal in the Lawton area this morning. This after storms rolled through last night. But the Lawton Police Department says flooding leaves this intersection closed. We're talking about Southwest 2nd Street and F. Of course, that is near the mall. As for power outages, we checked with PSO overnight. They say power has been restored to all of the nearly 2,000 customers who lost their power because of the storms. You can expect a bad tasting water in Lawton to clear up over the next few days. That's according to Lawton City officials. As we've reported, the lake turns over naturally this time of year, bringing up uh, algae and dirt. Uh, that's what causes the strange taste. But uh, this year, a part of the filtration system at the water treatment plant broke down just as that was happening. So it's taking a little longer to get rid of the taste. About a day and a half. So it takes about uh, a day and a half, two days for that uh, to, to get out. So in the next couple of days, uh, the citizens should find that we, uh, uh, the water uh, goes back to a, a normal good taste. Uh, Smith says despite the smell and taste, the water is safe to drink.